When I play music, everything changes. I feel the music moving through me, lifting me like I'm swimming in water and feeling lighter. When I play, for instance, Claire de Lune by Claude Debussy, which means light of the moon in French, of course I can't see the light of the moon, but I can't imagine a beautiful night outside with the breeze blowing and the crickets chirping, and as I keep playing, I continue to experience this. Shortly after Patrick's birth, I realized that our journey in life as we had planned it was going to be totally different than what we had anticipated. And we just set about trying to make the path as best we could for Patrick and see what happens. I discovered he had an interest in music when he was about four and a half months old. Dad laid me on top of our piano and, and he would play something and we don't know whether I liked it, but whatever the reason, I immediately got quiet. I don't know if it was the sound of me playing or the vibrations maybe that he was feeling through the wood laying on top of the piano, but he got quiet immediately, so I recognized that you know maybe he likes music. Well, I actually started playing piano when I was, uh, no joke, nine months old. So when he was about nine months old and could sit up well, I put a high chair in front of the piano, set Patrick in the high chair, and I found, you know, I played three notes at random, and Patrick at nine months old searched for those three notes and found each one and played them back to me in succession, just as I had played them to him. Well, my family has had a great role in my success. They've given me the courage to, to always try new things and not get down you know, on my disability, so to speak, just to realize the things that I can do, my abilities. Well, this book is more than just a story of, of Patrick Henry. It's, it's not really an, an ABC, a chronological sort of thing. It's more life lessons that, that Patrick's learned and that I've learned uh, and that our families learned that we wanted to share with everybody that can help you achieve your full potential as well. The book has uh, eight lessons in all in it, and uh, two of my favorites are Be the One Your Mother Would Be Proud Of and Best Heroes Are the Ones Closest to Home. I can say this for my mother, she's taught me a lot. She's taught me, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of obstacles I might have to conquer, if I only try to conquer them, then there's a pretty good chance that I can do them. Well, I guess my proudest achievement so far would be this book. It's a book that's written, if you read it 30 years ago, it would apply to your life then. If you read it 30 years from now, it will apply to your life at that point. It's just all about being all that you can be, achieving your goals, fulfilling your destiny. Uh, we all, I think, are able to accomplish much more than we allow ourselves to accomplish. A lot of times it takes a lot, a lot more work and a lot more effort and a lot more faith. Just believing in yourself that you can do more than, than you think you can. I hope that those who read my book realize that uh, life is beautiful if only you count your blessings and uh, realize all the great things you have in life instead of looking at what everyone else has. Let's all begin to look within. Wouldn't this world be a better place if we didn't look at color or judge each other from without? So let's all begin to look within